Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Acres. I'm Henry. Today I'm in front of the Airstream Base Camp 2023. We'll take a look inside and see what's going on in this brand new camping trailer. This Airstream has a refrigerator, small size, typical of the smaller trailers, but it's more than enough for probably at least a week of perishables. Well, unless you want to put a lot of beer in it, or sodas, or bubbly if that's your choice. Above is a microwave. The microwave works only on shore power. That is when you're actually hooked up to the grid, to a generator, or some other source of alternating current, like household current. This is a brand new trailer, so there's still stickers on things, but I'm assured that this microwave works just perfectly fine. Above the forward seating area, there's two mesh storage areas. You can use them for lightweight items. Windows on this trailer have interior shades that are zipped up. They're easy to open. Right now, we're parked in a parking lot, and the outside view is not real great. Like most smaller RVs and trailers, there are a series of storage areas. They open up with a push and a magnetic latch. It's perfect for storage for towels, pots and pans, mugs, all manner of things. The great thing is these doors have a very positive close. There's a small seating area forward that has a table. Table is adjustable for height with these latches here. It works really great. And it's easy to slide in, at least on this side. But what do you do on the other side? I don't think even a kid could fit through here. Well, you can cheat. The table rotates. You can sit down and turn it back. Really clever. It's another one of those space-saving techniques used by these more experienced companies. Airstream has been in the business of recreational vehicles for a very long time. This is the typical kind of Airstream. It has a all-metal clad exterior and the interior, the ceiling, the walls are also metal. stove has a cover on it, flips up for use. This is a two burner stove, it runs on propane. There's two propane tanks up front in the RV. You flip this down, you have a smooth work surface. Right next to it is the trailer sink. has a pump for water, for fresh water. It works great. What more would you want? This is a plenty big sink to wash pots, pans, or other things.
Where do you put a shower in a trailer this small? Well, the answer is real simple. You have a wet bath. Yeah, I know a lot of people think that's kind of gross, but it really isn't. It's a small cubicle. This has a toilet with a foot flush and a full shower. As with most wet baths, there is a vent to let moist air out and there's lightweight curtains that keep water from hitting the windows. One of the smartest additions to this trailer is a fantastic vent. Fantastic vent is a brand name that's now sold by Dometic. It was originally it was originally sold by a company that manufactured these vents. It's DC powered, has a number of speeds, and more importantly, it has a rain sensor. That rain sensor will allow the vent to close if it starts raining. And that's really awesome if you're out and about. Smoke detector is obligatory. There it is right here in this travel trailer. Well, it's really not a travel trailer, I guess. I think it's called a camping trailer. We slept in this trailer last night. It was comfortable. Temperatures were okay. If we wanted to have heat, we could have turned on the propane-powered heater. We didn't need it here in San Luis Obispo, California. The temperatures were perfectly reasonable. And we borrowed some bedding to sleep in here. I need to go ahead and unmake the bed. You might not like sleeping on this bed, mostly because it takes a little bit of effort to set it up and then to put it all away. We're used to this kind of a setup when we lived in our RV for, I guess, six years. That was when we were building our house here in Arizona and when we were preparing to build a house in California. So I'll go ahead and get the bedding taken care of and then I'll show you how the bed gets made up and taken down. Well, one of the things about this bed that you might want to be aware of is that it isn't a rectangle. It conforms to the rear of the trailer. That means that a normal fitted sheet fits okay, but there are special sheets that you can get. Well, not yet for this trailer because this is a 2023 trailer.
<laughs> well, that was some work. It's, a, it's easy. I've never done it before. I got some directions from my daughter to help me get things right. There's a specific order you need to do things in. It's no big deal. Now, on this other wall that I'm facing right now are the controls for the solar that's on the roof, the charge controller, and the battery that's under the front part of this vehicle. It's worked very well for us. We used about 0.1 volts out of the entire battery last night. Now keep in mind we didn't run the heater but we did run the DC powered refrigerator. Well I hope you enjoyed this little trip around this really nice Base Camp 2023 trailer. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Jennifer and Aaron have already tried it and I think they liked it. And they're planning to do a lot more camping. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications because I'm not going to be doing a lot of this again, but we'll be doing a lot more stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye. And don't forget to brainstorm because we sure do. And luckily I have two assistants out here reminding me what I did and didn't say. <laughs>